Hello and welcome to Camel Racing News. We will once again bring you up to speed with all that's happened over the past week at our Marmoon Smart Track. Plus, meet some of the visitors who took in some camel racing over the weekend. Here's this week's headlines to start us off. The eighth qualifying races for junior camels took place in a great atmosphere. Wad and Al Nawi were the superstars of the thoroughbred Abkar and local Jadan divisions for their highnesses the Sheikhs. In the Yatha category for their highnesses the Sheikhs, Saba and Safwa snatched the titles. In the Legea category for local owners, Destora and Lavi won the prizes. In Yatha category for the tribesmen, Mashagla and Matara came out on top. We'll review the best times. We'll meet some of the overseas tourists. Plus, we have our weekly screenshot. His Excellency Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Dubai Crown Prince, was on hand at Al Marmoon to see the eighth round of qualifying races held between the 13th and 15th of January. The evening events were designated for Legaya camels owned by their highnesses the Sheikhs. They took part in 18 competitive races over five kilometres. Al Asifa stables, as usual, prove they are an undefeatable force by winning 12 races. Al Asifa, owned by His Excellency Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, continued their dominance when they captured the first feature race for local Abkar thanks to the brilliant female camel Wad under the supervision of trainer Giaith Al Hilali. The winning time was 7.52.09. The race started well for Shirt, owned by His Excellency Hazza bin Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who took the lead, followed by Jabara, owned by Al Asifa. In the final stages, it was Wad who went on to win in some style. Alasifa continued to hold all before them, their Shuk winning the second race for thoroughbred Abkar. Shuk didn't find the pace easy, however, as there were tough rivals from the same yard in Enzar, Bashaya and Rifjar. Suddenly, things changed when Magasa, owned by His Excellency Hazza bin Sultan bin Zayed al Nahyan, took the lead for a few minutes before Al Asifa's Rifjar and Shuk fought back strongly to take over. The fans expected Rifjar to win the race, but it was Shuk who reached the finishing line first in 7.48.2. مع فوز هجن العاصمة بالمراكز الثلاثة الأولى رفجة في المقدمة عن الوصول تليها شوك تليهم أيضا انذار الله المركز الرابع The third race for local Jadan saw the prize travel to Qatar thanks to the gigantic and speedy Al Nawi owned by His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Jassim Al Thani and trained by Salem Amir Rashid Al Madhusi. He simply flew across the ground, winning in 7.37.4. Al Nawi proved uncatchable, taking the lead and not giving up until he completed the five kilometer trip.
Alasifa also won the fourth race for Thoroughbred Jadan through Barak, trained by Giath Al Halali. From the starting gates, Al Nasser, owned by His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, took the lead, followed by Naj, owned by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The last two kilometres saw a battle between Al Nasser and Barak, but the latter managed to defeat Al Nasser in 7:43.5. والختاميات والرموز يا سلام يا سلام يا سلام يقترب من خط النهاية ينفرد بهذا الأداء يطلق العنان لانطلاقة متميزة ويصل مع نهاية هذه اللحظات إلى المنصة ليعلن المركز الأول Last Saturday afternoon Al Mamun's Smart Camel Racing Track conducted the second round of the eight qualifying races for the Yetha category, owned by their highnesses the Sheikhs and for local owners. In the 16 races over six kilometers allocated to the Sheikhs, Al Asifa's stables were once again much the best. Al Asifa tightened their grip on the feature race for local Abkar, sending their gunners, Danun and Saba Makrana, Makrama, owned by His Excellency Sheikh Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, came third. The final stages saw a three way battle between Danun, Saba, and Al Nawaya, but the final word went to Saba, who reached the finishing line first in 9 28 15. Al Nawaya and Danun came second and third, respectively. سيدي سمو الشيخ حمدان بن محمد بن راشد بن سعيد المكتوم حفظه الله ولغياث الهلالي ولجماهير العاصمه الناموس بالمركز الاول. The second feature race for thoroughbred Abkar saw a fierce challenge between two leading yards. Al Asifa stables, owned by His Excellency Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Qatari Al Shahania stables. They both sent their superstars to compete in the evening race, with Al Asifa's star Safwa leading the race, followed by Mizna, owned by Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, with Saraba in third. The trio continued their good running, but Safwa increased speed and took over the lead, before Shahania's star Abla and Gaza tried to snatch the title from her. However, Safwa's courage and stamina held out, and she won the race brilliantly registering the best time of 9.24.02 and leaving the second and third place for her Qatari rivals. هذا الشعار الشعار الملكي الشعار الأدعم يتنافسا على مقدمة هذا الشوط عبلة وصفوة عبلة وصفوة ونحن نغترب من خط النهاية صفوة 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 عبلة عبلة صفوة وعبلة اللحظات الأخيرة اللحظات الحرجة صفوة وعبلة صفوة وعبلة على عموم الدخول جماعي بنشوف بنشوف ساعة الوصول the third race was for local Jadan, and it saw Al Asifa stables register their third victory, recorded by Mahmouk. Hashim, owned by His Excellency Sheikh Rashid bin Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Nasi, owned by Al Asifa, were up front early on. However, Hashim held on to the lead until the final kilometres, when he was headed by Mahmouk, who overtook him and won the race in 9.48.2, granting Al Asifa the hat trick. مالك هجن العاصمة مالك هذا القعود مالك مرموق وتهانينا للمضمر العملاق غياث الهلالي الله 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 المركز الثاني يصل حجيم لسمو شيخ راشد بن حمدان بن راشد بن سعيد المكتوم The fourth race was for Thurber Jadan and it saw Al Asifa win the first four rounds or Fook meaning Skyline gave them the fourth victory Winning in 9:46-2, defeating Hashim and Anid. في هذا المساء لهجن العاصفة إمبراطورية هجن العاصفة هذا هو أفق يصل إلى خط النهاية تهانينا وأن موزوا في المركز الثاني. After the final races, Alasifa Stables confirmed that they are number one, with 15 wins out of 16. Let's review the best times recorded by the camels in the shake owned categories. In the Legaya category, it was Al Nawi, owned by His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Jassim Al Tani, 
and trained by Salem Amir Rashid Al Matushi, who won, recording the best finishing time of 7.37.4. Safwa, owned by Al Asifa, recorded the best time of 9.24.02 in the Yefa category. Al Mamoun Smart Camel Racing Track also hosted the eight qualifying Ligaya races for locally owned camels. 429 fought it out across 18 rounds, with eight races for breeding stock. The first open race for local Abkar consisted of 23 camels, and in 7.42.6 minutes, Destora took the title home to the Sultanate of Oman. The race started with four at the front, headed by Wessam, followed by Al Sheba, Rafia, and Hamlua, but in the final stages and from fifth place, rushed Destora to lead until the wire beating Althuria and was safe. Dastura, ila, 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 ila saltana, ila saltana, mashallah, wa tabarakallah, dastura ala al-markaz, lawa al-markaz dani thiraya, Rashid bin Mbarak, man habab. Wallah ta'anina al-misharika fawz tayyib, nash charraf hain yom nisharik fi midan al-marmum, wa nashka sahab al-shiyukh ala da'ma hada al-sabaq, wa tawa Allah amarham. Wallah, salala tabint newton, بعيد الشيخ ذياب بن زايد وامها بن شاهين كليلي والله نهدي التهنية والناموس إلى الوالد علي بخنا في الحيري ونهدي السلامات إلى محبين الشعر الأخضر نشكر أصحاب الشيوخ على الدعم هذا في ميدان المرمو ونتمنى التوفيق بإذن الله. The second open race for local thoroughbred Abkar saw 26 purebred Arabian camels from all over the GCC come to fight for the valuable prizes. The trophy eventually travelled to Qatar. While well, Romaina, owned by Ahmed Abdullah Ahmed Al Masnad, defeated the Saudi camel Al Hadara, owned by Hamad Abdul Aziz Al Rabay, at the final meters, crossing the line in 7424. <laughs> The first race for the local breeding Abkar was open for 20 camels. It started with a strong rhythm, with Samhar at the front of three rivals, heading Mansoura and Hamlua. The shape of the race changed several times. Al Darbia took the lead with ambitions of winning, but the speedy Al Tayara, owned by Saeed Mata Al Ramethi, foiled her plans, grasping the title in 7.45.8. Al Darbia came second. الطيارة الطيارة في أول أشواط الإنتاج تتزع الفوز والناموس تهانينا تهانينا لسعيد من مطر محمد الرمادي على هذا الفوز سلام للسمحة سلام The second race for local breeding Abkar was won by Al Ahazira owned by Mohamed Masalam Hamrua Al Amri who finished the race in 7.42.1 followed by Mawari and Al Nasiba who came third the race saw strong competition from the start, but in the fifth minute, Al Hazira mastered the race to leave the others far behind. Salam li ahali zakhar salam. Huna sadtum sabahan bi fawz al hadra bi sadara bil markaz al awal. Walahbat wasula ila khabtan haya. Bahanina al Muhammad bin Musallam bin Hamroor al Amri wajhaz nafsak al muqabla. Al Mushark fi midan al marmum sharaf al na, wa hsoul ala nqta fi midan al marmum. هذا تعتبر بطاقة عبور للميادين الثانية كلهن أشواط الانتاج طال عمرك هذا يدعم للمنتجين وللأصحاب الحلال منها للمشتراء يركضون في أشواط لهم أرواحهم والله يا براعي مصيحة كل شيء من الشيوخ بيي تمام أي شيء الشيوخ يحطونه هو تمام ورقم واحد سلالة الحذرة طال عمرك أبوها الحذر بعير حمدان بن راشد وامها سودانية هدي فوزها لابوي محمد بن مسلم بن حمرور والبيت العويني كافة والله طال عمرك الله يطول عماركم على ذي الترتيب وعلى ذي المقابلة وعلى وعلى ذي التغطية للميادين كلها والميدان المرموم بالذات. The incatchable larvae owned by Hamad Ali Hamad Al Bras Al Mari won the fourth race for thoroughbred Jadan, registering the best time of the morning of 7:38.7. حمد بن علي بن حمد البريسي المري مع لافي في المركز الاول المركز الثاني مشاركه لا معنى ثاني السبق في في المرموم او في الوثبه 
من من الميادين الرئيسيه في دوله الامارات العربيه المتحده وسبق المرموم غير له له ميزه ثانيه يعني عالي بعير الشيخ ذياب بن سيف والسنه ما ذاق طعم الهزيمه هذه ثالث سبقه يسبقها في دبي هني اليوم اهدي فوزه لكل مشجعين شعار بن هياي وكل محبين الركض وكل محبين عالي اشكر شيوخنا اللي داعمين الركض الله يجزيهم خير اللي هذه اجتماع الناس فرحه للجميع The morning qualifying race is for local owners, the 8th edition, were designated for the Yeza category. There were 298 camels, with juniors in 16 competitive races over 6 kilometers, and the last 6 rounds for breeding camels. Matara won the feature race for local Abkar, while the second race for thoroughbred Abkar saw the best timing recorded. The first open race for local Abkar saw Matara, owned by Calaf Mubarak Beljafia Al Hamari, repeat her previous achievement, when she took the title after a nice run to finish the race in 9.29. Wada, owned by Salim Saeed Ali Al Mustafari, came second, followed by Wad, owned by Mohamed Juma Abayd Al Shamdi. على مطره تهانينا تهانينا تعلن مطره الوصول رسميا فائزه بالمركز الاول معلنه حضورها بقوه كما كانت تحضر دائما وابدا تهانينا للسيد خلف بن مبارك بن جابله الحميري المركز الثاني آه الحمد لله على التوفيق اليوم الشوط الاولي خذنا طعمك الشوط الاولي وبغينا ناخذ الشوط الاولي للمهاجنات لكن آه التوفيق والارزاق عند رب العالمين ما قصرت البكريه الثاني لكن انتظروهن ان شاء الله في مسابقات اخرى. ما طرت الحدر من سلاله شاهين حليش وايضا زعفرانه تنحدر من سلاله شاهين علي بن عبيد الكتبي ومثل ما قلت لكم سلام شاهين سلام. اهدي طعمك القائد القطاع الشمالي الوالد سيد مبارك ارتب الجافله. الشكر لهل الفضل اللي هم معازيبنا هم لهم شكل داعمين الراكض هذا وما قصروا. In the second open race for local thoroughbred Abkar, headed by Asiad, owned by Mohamed Juma Abayd Al Shamdi, followed by Tanwiya, owned by Abdullah Ali Nasir Abdullah Al Masnad. However, the queen of the race was Masiglaha, owned by Hamad Salim Hamoud Al Amri, who joined in at the 1200 meter point. However, she was still too good and won in the best time for the six mile distance, 9.18.5. مشغلة وصلت إلى المركز الثاني للسيد حمد بن سالم العمري دير بالك يا بالجافلة العمري قادم على ظهر مشغلة بدأت تشتغل بدأت تشتغل بدأت تنوى وزعفرانة في المقدمة اللحظات الأخيرة اللحظات الحرجة زعفرانة مشغلة زعفرانة مشغلة مشغلة سلام سلام عليكم يا هالبدية واسعد الله صباحكم بكل خير وبكل محبة تهانينا للسيد حمد بن سالم العمري على فوز مشغلة بالمركز الأول والله المرموم الروح مميزة والمشاركة فيها طال عمرك تسرك أنك تشارك في ميدان مرموم ميدان منظم واقفين عليه الشوخ طول الله عمارهم مشغلة قد لها سبق هني في ميدان المرموم أبوها مشغل المختبر وامها سودانية والله ناموس سهدي حق أهالي السلطنة وإلى أهالي أرض الطبيعة هناك أهالي وادي السيل بيض الله وياك يا أبو حمد ونشكركم على المجهود اللي تقدمونه في هذا الميدان ولا أبكم مقصور ويعطيكم العافية In the first race for local reproductive Abkar 17 camels went to the starting gates led by Al Shaiba owned by Humaid Atik Obeid Belhili owned by Hamad Sultan Merkan Al Qatabi came second and Gazoa came third In the final kilometers Al Shaibi and Gazoa looked to have it between them, but Jabara had the final word when she took the lead and went on to win in style in 9.27.6. Mizna came second, ahead of Al Shaiba in third. اكتبي ولحظة وصولها إلى قبل النهاية معلنها الفوز ومعلنها الناموس تهانينا. والله يعني إن شيء الكثير مهرجان المرموم من مركز المرموم مراكيضة قوية من الدوار الرئيسية. والله جبارة تنحدر من سلاله الجبار بأي فرع محمودة جبارة زعفرانة وما بن شاين كليلي والله هدية طعمرك الهلال المغدية الاشتبي وللوالد والله جزاكم الله خير وطول عماركم وما قصرتوا ومركاتكم طيب الحمد لله The second race for local breeding thoroughbred Abkar 
was won by Al Tayef, owned by Saeed Salem bin Dry, in 9.29.4. She left her challenge until the final half kilometre, charging late and winning well. إلى المركز الأول ضمن أشواط إنتاج صباح هذا اليوم في هذا الموسم المميز وهنا سعيد بن سالم بن دري الفلاح الثانين والناموس على هذا الفوز والانتصار هنا سلام زاخر سلام بينما المركز الثاني Sunday morning saw the end of the eighth week of the qualifying races for junior camels. In the Hegea category for tribesmen, the races were divided into 20 rounds over a distance of 3 kilometers, with 650 camels competing. It was Hamza who granted her owner Hassan Ayat Mohammed Hassan Al Ababi from Alain the prize of the feature race, when she fought fiercely to deny Jamala and crossed the finishing line in 4.28.02. Jamala, owned by Salim Saeed bin Kasib Al Masafari, came second, followed by Siouf owned by Awad bin Nayid bin Awad al-Rashidi. Sayyid Hassan bin Ayyad bin Muhammad bin Hassan al-Ahbabi tantalak bi quwa tuthbit wujudha tu saytir ala al-mawqaf tahtal al-sadara bi ihtiraf bi tamayyuz bi infirad ya salam ya salam ya salam wa ta'lan lahazat al-wusul salam lil'ayn salam wa jamahiri hada shi'ar wa khasatan malik hams حسن بن عايض بن محمد بن حسن الاحبابي تصل بالمركز الثاني جماله سالم بن سعيد بن شاسم المسافري. The second race was open to Jaydan Camels. It saw Hamlul, owned by Ahmed Juma Matar Al Khalili, take the lead, while the eventual winner Al Wasil preferred to be in second. Al Maktaba, owned by Hamad Nafi Al Shidi, was also keen to win the race and looked the danger to Al Wasil. But the latter managed to get rid of him and won in 4.29 flat. يلا يا الدرعي المعركة طاحنة على المقدمة الواصل 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 فارغ راس في هذه اللحظات يتسلل سلام سلام عليكم يا هل القوعة أسعد الله صباحكم يا هل الرجعات تهانينا للسيد محمد بن حميد بن حمد الدرعي على فوز الواصل بالمركز الأول. The first race was for local breeding Abkar, with 26 camels taking part. Masiha, owned by Mansour Hamad Al Mansouri, Alaya, owned by Nasir Maktoum Al Majrui, and Halak, owned by Salim Mohammed Al Afari, were the leaders. The final stages saw a different challenge, however, when Salam, owned by Matar Abayad Baldaya, took the lead and defeated Samha, owned by Al Safna Muslam Al Amri, in a thrilling finish. Crossing the line in 4.29.7. Well, the Lagfeli, the Lagfeli, and I'm the Lagfeli, the Lagfeli, well, I can show. في الانطلاقات شوف من الجانب الاخر سلام 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 مطار بن عبيد بالضبيعه هي بالضبيعه على المركز الاول بالضبيعه غير وسمح الزفنه بن مسلم الزفنه العامري على المركز الثاني ولكن راح بالضبيعه راح بالضبيعه على مقدمه الشوط وانطلق انطلق في اول اشواط الانتاج والمنتجين مع اول اشواط الابكار المركز الثاني العزوم محمد بن راشد بن سيف الغفلي على المركز الثاني الغفلي 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 على المركز الثاني لكن خلاص خلاص سلام سلام وين نزوة 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 مطر بن عبيد بالضبيع ينتزع ناموسي هذا شوط بي سلام The second race was for local breeding Jaydan 29 camels went to the gates and the fans saw a thrilling race unfold between Al Sib, Al Fatin, and Saddam. However, it was Shame, owned by Saif Mohammed Abdullah Al Ariani, who emerged the best, winning in 434 ball. بالفعل في الانتظار آلي مزيد في انتظار الناموس محمد بن سيف هناك العرياني يتقدم وسيف بن محمد بن عبد الله العرياني لا زال حتى اللحظة بدون منافس على الاطلاق ما شاء الله شام شايم الى خط النهاية وانتزع المركز الاول نشوف اقرب المنافسين وين عندك يا بن دميثان عندك يا ضعيف يا بن سيف يا بن دميثان ولكن خلاص راح بالناموس راح بالسلام راح بالتهنية الى مدينة 
مدينة العين إلى منطقة مزيد إلى حيث ما يسكن سيف بن محمد بن عبد الله العرياني واسعد الله صباحك يا العرياني على هذا الفوز والانتصار هذه لحظات الوصول هابا عين باي عبد الله سيد سلطان القفالي يقول لي ذا بيست تايم اوف 4 27 21 وشي وين ذا ثيرد ريس فور ابكا تسببوا يا جماعة هناك أيضا ملاحقة من قبل حربة عبد الله بن سعيد بن سلطان لغفيلي ولكن الخليفي هل الدوحة الخطر الخليفي يطلق مهابة يطلق مهابة مع ال 400 متر الأخيرة مهابة للسيد عبد الله بن محمد بن مبارك بن صالح الخليفي ولكن قدوم خطير وملموس من حربة تنقض تس هم كالحربة حربة 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 يا عبد الله بن سعيد بن سلطان الغبيلي الخليفية وحربة يلا 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 حربة الله 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 جابوا 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 حرب العبد الله بن سعيد بن سلطان الغبيلي تنتزع الناموس والمركز الأول تهانينا والناموس المركز الثاني مهابة عبد الله So, there are a few surprises in the local owners' races. Let's remind you of the best times. In the Ligaya category, it was Lavi, owned by Hamed Ali Hamed Abriz Al Mari, who won the fourth race in the best time of the morning, 7.38.7. In the fourth race for Thoroughbred Abkar, the speedy female camel, Magshahala, owned by Hamed Salim Hamoud Al Amri, recorded the best time for the six miles, in 9.18. Five. Camel racing has long been a part of the heritage and tradition of the GCC countries and Dubai is at the centre of this. Because of that, plenty of overseas tourists like to visit Al Mamun to check out this unique slice of local culture. The camels, renowned for being ships of the desert, are very important in local culture because they are symbols of surviving in harsh desert conditions. It's because of this proud tradition that we see very many overseas visitors at Al Mamun. We went along to meet a few of them. Yeah, it's the first time I've been to the uh, to the camel racing. I think it's it's very exciting. It's a great experience. Uh, very interesting to see sort of the local how the lo local population spend their weekend. I'd, I'd definitely come back. No, I've been to uh, I've been to the horse racing, but this is my first time at the camel racing. I think the camel racing seems uh, a lot more genuine. It seems a lot more sort of authentic as, a, as an experience of being in the Middle East. Um, that's the main difference, I would say. Oh, it's very interesting just looking around and it's, uh, it looks like everything's quite organized and you can pick where you watch the race. So it's really exciting, yeah. Yes, uh, me and my husband, we live in Abu Dhabi and we wanted to see a camel race and it's very nice. There's one in the afternoon, so we could drive on over. It's very easy to find as well, driving here. Yeah, so um, we've seen now two races, and it's very interesting. You know, I've seen some horse racing before, um, but I didn't even know what to expect. And so what's interesting is that, you know, cars can follow the race as well, which is, you know, a, d a very different experience. And um, there's a lot of races, so it's, it's been very nice, you know, and you can go up to the camels as well so it's a uh, um, you get to experience a lot of different aspects of the race in a short time yeah so I th with horse racing it's a lot faster you know so I think with horse races it's just usually one race and it's you know it's extremely fast so here you can kind of see a bit more of the prep work you can actually get a lot closer and you can see the animals with a horse race you're usually just further back so it's um, yeah, I think you get more of an experience, you know, to, to see the camel racing.
That's it for this week's Camel Racing News. We hope you've enjoyed the show brought to you by Dubai Camel Racing Club. Please get in touch with us via the social media contacts on the screen. We'll speak to you again in seven days' time. Thank you.